Okay, before I can start on this week's review, I need to sort out the area in which I do the review. Um, the light has crapped itself, and I need to replace that. I'm just going to do a quick solution. Um, if you saw my last video, you would have seen the light dying. Um, as you can see, uh, this was my last review, the Makita foosball table, uh, which is already getting covered in shit. This is today's review, and as a bonus review, I'm just going to quickly plug this in and use this as the lighting for my area so I can do the review. So that's like a bit of a bonus review, this one. Just quickly get this out of the way. <laughs> if I can get into the friggin' thing. Right. Oh, she's some of the best packaging I've ever seen. Wow. That just slid into a box. Instructions. Okay, this is an Arlec Bunning Special in a cheap Chinese. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Master and reset later. It's just a sticker that's been put on. Over the <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> what a piece of junk. Um, it feels flimsy. So this is not an outdoor unit. It'll stand there. Cute. But I bought it because it had the USB charge ports and the power sockets because I'm probably going to hang this one over on the other side of the workshop in the garage side to get a bit more light over there because I'm lacking light over there at the moment and I've got to get around to rewiring all the lights but until then this will do but for today let's see if it will light this space up let there be light oh, that's not too bad it will do the trick I need some light just so I can fix the light. Else it's too dark. Because I can't have the light to turn on while I'm fixing the light. Anywho, let's take a look at this. The DCL180SYB vacuum cleaner kit from Makita. So I bought this when I was going to get the replacement light from a workbench here. I saw it was sort of cheapish, so I grabbed it. It's a whole kit, not just a bare tool like I'd normally buy. I figure I'd just sell the um, charger and the battery. Speaking of which, charger is not a fast charger, and that's why I wouldn't bother keeping it. I don't know how long these ones take, I'll look it up. Um, but I've got several of the rapid chargers, which look like that. So they're very similar, it's just the model number DC18SD on the new one here and RC on the fast one RC rapid charge SD slow damn charge so battery charger and there's a 1.5 amp hour battery in here somewhere this is meant to be this is dinky little suction head wheels four wheels rubber rubber squeegee type doohickey there no brushes now the battery is on the tool seems strange to ship the battery on the tool and I thought they would do that seems like something that could get knocked in shipping and cause issues but anywho Hopefully it hasn't been used by somebody else. So there is the unit. 1.5 amp hour battery. Oh, I can add the weight of this to my battery video, which I'd already finished, damn it. Hmm. Maybe I can modify it. Maybe I can't be bothered. We'll see what happens there. So, no... No push button -y gauge, battery gauge. So that's a BL1815N. So instructions and other paraphernalia. And uh, I was going to say hose, but it's not really a hose, is it? 
Man, that's short. <laughs> that's really short. I mean, we're looking at what? Ooh, less than 500 mil long. Right, get out of the way. I haven't looked up anything about this tool, I don't know anything about it. It's a vacuum, you know, it's sort of, who cares sort of thing. Um, but, oh, look how dirty she is already. Need a vacuum on the bench. So we've got a clear cover on the front here, so you can see how much shit you've picked up and you know when to empty it. Open that up, open it nice and easy. Turns and locks, unlock. Couldn't be simpler. Has possibly a little switch here so it won't run when the cover's off. Yeah, let's put a battery on and see. Oh, there's that theory bomb. I don't know why it's got those metal contacts on there and the metal contacts on here. It's just supposed to be for grippage. So inside here we have a bag. How does that come out? Let's just twist. So, a filter bag here. Nothing too exciting. Oh, you've got this spongy type filter in here. I'll leave that on there. <coughs> Alright. So, not a lot to it. Gonna be a short review. So you've got a nozzle here for a crevice nozzle, crevice tool, whatever you call them. It is polypropylene plastic. Don't fit on that end. Let's go on that end. So yeah, very short. Very short. All polypropylene. Right. Bought already. Let's test it out. Get rid of that for the minute. Plenty of dust around the place. Mostly got this, I wanted to um, just use it for sucking up seeds that my galah drops everywhere. That was one thought for using it, but I'm sure I'll end up using it for something else. That's what I always end up doing. So, in her full glory, that's what she looks like. I'll give it a quick measure, tell you how long it is. So from tip to tip, she's only just over a meter, not much more than three feet long. Anyway, um, there's some dust behind me, I'll just turn the camera. So I've got a bit of crap here on the drill press, got some metal filings in the groove there, um, and of course some timber shavings there. Let's see how well she sucks it up. pretty good. Um, she's very quiet, nice and quiet to use, you wouldn't need earmuffs or anything like that. I hate some vacuum cleaners, they're so loud you want to put ear protection on because they just drive me mad. Um, she's quite full already by the looks. Pretty chocker on mostly the left hand side of the tool. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to be able to suck up a lot with it, it's not going to hold a lot. Probably double what I've just sucked up and that'll be it. This might come in quite handy for cleaning up around the workshop. But how long does the battery last? It says in the instructions here, proxy, tw uh, proxy, approximately 20 minutes continuous use. But it doesn't say with what battery. Presumably, it's just the battery that came with it, which seems quite a long time for a 1.5 amp hour battery. Hmm. She's also got some filters inside here where the air blows out. Um, to stop dust getting back into the environment, presumably. Now, how hard is it to empty? Let's 
Let's have a look. You should turn it out that way, nothing falls out the end. Because it's got a little flappy dappy in there. Which only opens with the suction. So you can just take it out like so. Won't fall out the bottom. And there we go, there's our pile of shit. Now this thing holds 650 mil of shit. Oh, stuck it on upside down. Crikey. Yeah, not bad. Still need to do some sort of runtime test, don't I? Now I'll show you the, the head of the vacuum. I've been using it on the floor, tried a few things out. Seems to be pretty good, but I'll just show you here on the bench. Not the best place to test it for this, but it's easier to see it. Piece of cake, nice and easy. Alright, the battery is dead. I'm now going to chuck this on the rapid charger and see how long it takes. Should only take about 10 11 minutes. And then after that, I'll drain it, see how long it takes to drain, and then we'll charge it on the, the cheaper battery charger that comes in this kit. 1.5 amp hour battery on rapid charger. Let's go from flat cold when I tested the 3 amp hour though it did take 23 minutes so I'd expect this to come in at about 11 and a half So that is where I would have expected it to have stopped. I'll have to look up what the rated time is for this battery. I haven't actually looked that up. We've got the green light? Yeah, we've got the green light. Shan't be long. So 14 and a half minutes. About three minutes longer than I would have expected. But I'll look up the charge time, might be 15 minutes or something for that size battery. I have to have a look. So now I'll do the runtime test. I've taped down the trigger. It's not a variable speed trigger or anything like that. It's just a tactile click on, click off micro switch. So we'll chuck the battery on, freshly charged battery, and see if it will last the 20 minutes it says it will. Right, here we go. I think I'll go have some lunch. Well, she made it to 20 minutes, but she's really starting to slow down now. Still got a bit of suction there. just over 21 minutes but effective suction time about 20 minutes it was that last minute was pretty gutless so if you extrapolate that out that's about 40 minutes on a 3 amp hour battery and about an hour and 20 minutes on a 6 amp hour which is pretty good a lot better than a Dyson speaking of which I'd like to compare this to a Dyson just for fun um, I'll get my hands on one of them shortly and um, we'll do a comparison test. That'll be another video though. Right, let's wait for, I'll wait for this battery to cool down. While I'm doing that, I'll um, change out this light so I can have some proper light over my workbench again. 
and once it's cooled down I will chuck it on the charger that came with the the vacuum and we'll see how long it takes on that one to charge so I've got my fluoro light back up but it doesn't seem as bright as the this LED thing but it's a bit more diffused and even light this was a bit harsher um, it's very hot very hot front and back and quite smelly you know hot burning about to burn plastic sort of smell um, it's only been running for about uh, an hour probably less than an hour hmm might not want to leave it running too long a few hours have passed and the battery's cooled down so it's now time to see how long it takes on one of these standard non-rapid chargers oh no fan wait for the fan to kick in so the charger's got no fan so there's another difference between the rapid and the slow a lot quieter for charging batteries when you're trying to film videos that's for sure anyway let's let this run for a bit So I looked up the charge time on the rapid charger rating from Makita for 1.5 amp hour and they've got it down as 15 minutes. So it took us 14 and a half, so that's pretty good. Um, and on the slow charger, the standard charger, they've got the time rated as 30 minutes and it took 32 and a half, I do recall. Um, and they've got it down as 60 minutes for a 3 amp hour on that charger, 90 minutes for 4 amp hour. 110 minutes and nearly two hours for a 5 amp hour and they haven't even got the 6 amp hour on there so but 6 amp hour is going to be well over two hours which is a bit painful by today's standards but by old standards by like say Ryobi standards and I remember my Ryobi charger you know take five to eight hours <laughs> back in the day to charge a battery that was completely gutless so not too bad even the standard charger i mean an hour to charge three amp hour battery i mean that's not the end of the world i suppose but if you're in a hurry like a lot of people are these days or you don't have enough batteries you want the rapid charger but the rapid charger doesn't come with this so anyway that's the kit charger not that charger the unit it's very short could do with being about doesn't need to be much longer it's you know it looks really short but when you're using it, it's not too bad. Um, probably could do with being another 100 mil, four inches longer, and make it a little bit more comfortable for me, so I don't have to bend it all. But everyone's going to be different with that. I'm not sure if these standard chargers make the noise either. Let's see if they have different tunes. No, no tune. Doesn't sing like the other one. So I've been using this thing around the house, just testing it out. And on hardwood floors, it's pretty good. Um, maybe not so good for really fine dust. Uh, good for chunky stuff. Um, but on carpet, the carpet down our hall. Oh, look at all the crap's just come off the bottom of it. carpet down our hall and in our bedrooms was all right this one here which is a little bit thicker it's it's just a bit hard to push nicely so it's a, and you haven't got the suction going it, it wheels pretty easily but when you've got the suction it's sort of quite grippy it just doesn't flow very smoothly So this rug was covered in bird seed and now it's all good so it did the trick um, maybe not quite as good as our traditional vacuum cleaner but it wasn't intended for that use anyway but yeah pretty impressed with this thing certainly good value for the price so thanks for watching um, I think that's covered it I'll see you on the next one 
have a look at some of these other videos. Got lots of Makita videos still coming up. Got to stop buying Makita stuff, it's costing me a fortune. Okay, thanks for watching guys, see you later.